does the narcissist know your worth? Many people are confused about if the narcissist recognizes their worth. The narcissist often treats their victims with contempt, as though they are worthless or beneath their consideration. But just because they treat you this way, it doesn't mean that it's how they feel about you. It doesn't mean that they don't recognize your worth. When the narcissist first met you, they treated you well. They made an effort to appreciate and respect you. They treated you in this way because they recognized your value. They recognized what you had to offer. And they knew that they had to love bomb you to lure you in and secure you as their source of supply. They knew that they had to emotionally manipulate you with excessive amounts of attention, admiration, affection, flattery, gifts and praise. They knew that they had to do this to win over your attention for the purpose of being able to control you. But it was never about sharing anything with you. It was never about appreciating everything that you possessed or had to offer. It was all about extracting everything good about you. That was the only reason why they wanted to be around you. Because they knew that you would benefit them in some way. You had what they wanted. But as time went by, they began to realize that you weren't going to willingly hand it over to them. They began to realize that your qualities, abilities and resources were never going to be theirs. And in their minds, that made you selfish. That meant that you lacked consideration for them. Or that you were only concerned with your own personal profit or pleasure. Even if you did support them financially or emotionally, it was never enough. They could never be satisfied with anything you provided to them. But they didn't see that as a fault that they had made. They saw it as though there was something wrong with you. As though you had made a fault or mistake. As though you were being too selfish or greedy. They expected you to save them. They expected you to make their lives a lot easier and make them feel good about themselves. They held you responsible for their health and well-being and you caved into their demands and did everything you could to please them to the point where you began to neglect yourself. But it was never enough. They were never satisfied with anything you did for them. This then made you feel as though you weren't enough. And the narcissist was quick to make you feel that way. They may have even told you that you're not good enough or that you can't do anything right. It made you feel worthless and insignificant. It made you feel like there's no point in trying. But the truth is, it wasn't you. It's not that you weren't good enough. It's just that it's impossible to satisfy the insatiable desires of a narcissist. The narcissist feels as though they are not enough. And nothing you do can change that. they can change that by going within themselves. But whenever you are around a narcissist, they will quickly make you feel as though you are not enough. They have to project their feelings about themselves onto you because it's too painful for them to deal with. It also makes them feel better about themselves by putting you beneath them. 
but you're not really beneath them. They are fully aware of your worth and that is why they have to do this. That is why they have to put you down and make you doubt your value and significance. Because if you really knew how great you are, you would wonder what you're even doing around them. You would be more focused on how they're not about anything while well, you're doing all of the work. And that is why they have to keep you constantly looking at yourself. Doubting yourself. Questioning if what you're doing and who you are is enough. When the only reason that they targeted you is because they knew you were more than enough. They knew that you had something to offer. But they only got with you to take that from you. And when they realized that you weren't going to give it up that easily, they became resentful. They began to feel bitterness or indignation at having been treated unfairly. Because in their minds, it is unfair. They feel entitled to everything you have without putting any of the work in, while making you believe that you're not worth anything. Because if you knew what you were worth, you would never share anything with them. Because you would realize that they don't even know how to treat something of value. They don't know how to take care of it. And they don't understand that they need to invest something into it for it to grow and become even more valuable. But they can't do that because they don't have anything to offer. They were expected to get everything they need from you. The narcissist recognizes your worth. That is what made you stand out among everyone else. That is why they targeted you. That is why they became so bitter and resentful towards the end. That is why they cannot stand to see you move on. If something doesn't possess any significance or value to you, you're not going to care if you lose it. You're not going to care if you don't have it anymore. You're not going to go chasing after a bag of rubbish because it's worthless. It has no use to you. But when it's something of value, when it's something that you know is really worth something, something really rare like a diamond that you might not find anywhere else you might travel to the ends of the earth to get that thing back you might never stop thinking about that diamond you might try to track it you might keep tabs on it you might observe it carefully and keep a record of it Because you know, you're never going to find anything like that ever again.
thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsforevercoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.